Now I'm ready to run my cross strings in and there's a couple of different ways I can do that. I can use a long tail here that will reach my uh, tensioner, out to my tensioner, and use a starting clamp to clamp down on the string and hold it right there. But then what I'd be doing when I pull tension on the string is I'm pulling tension against a single clamp with nothing on this side of the clamp. So although I doubt it would happen, there's a chance the string could slip through this starting clamp. If it slips through that starting clamp, then I'll damage my string. I'm using a multi-filament string here and I can already see where I've left ghosting on that uh, multi-filament string right there. So that's not good no matter which way you do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this string out a little bit to get rid of that ghosting problem. And I'm going to go into my tie-off hole and I'm going to use what they call a, a starting knot. Except I'm not going to use the normal starting knot. Okay, your normal starting knot now uh, has two loops in it and the tail goes down the anchor string so that it sticks uh, down this and doesn't go up against the frame uh, like all my other knots do. So what I'm going to do is start out just like I'm tying a Parnell knot or a uh, Pro knot and I'll just do over, under, and through the loop. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go over, under, and through the loop making sure that I come back up closest to this grommet hole. Then I've got two loops here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tail and go back through those two loops. Okay? Then I can pull it down. Okay? And I can actually get this very, very small to where I've got a very short tail right here. Let me just give you an idea. I can make it about that long because it's not going to pull through. I don't know that that last picture showed. I don't know that that last picture showed you how short I cut that tail off. But there's the tail. It's maybe about an inch long or so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull tension on this top cross now. But you can see here, there's my two loops that I made, one inside the other one. I went down under the anchor string, back up, down, back up, and then I took the tail that came closest to the uh, grommet hole and went back through those two loops so that the tail goes up against the frame. Then when I pull tension on it, that knot doesn't move at all. Okay, plus the fact that the tail lays right up against the frame, just like all my other knots do.